Hey everybody, well welcome to another Wowza video on modules and I am here with Tim Doherty to talk about one of the well-known modules that people use quite a bit which is the auto record module. Yeah, auto record Justin, it's it's really handy. Uh, you know, we'll show in a minute when we create a Wowza application that you can tell it to record everything. But what this module does is it pulls back a little and gives you a little bit of manageability when it comes to which streams are recorded. So we're going to go over that. But we're going to go over that today. Awesome. So uh, in what cases would you say someone would want to use this module as opposed to just going into the properties for a specific application and just recording everything? Great question. Um, in some cases, and I think this has a lot to do with the transcoder, um, people may want to transcode their video into ABR, but maybe they only want to record the source stream or the inversion of that. They don't want to record the source stream, but they want to record the ABR um, ladder, as they, as we say sometimes. So it gives you the ability to do that, not to mention, um, or actually to mention, if you just want to record one stream in an application, you just want to record my stream, and you don't want to record your IP camera, and you don't record anything else that connects. You know, you can, you can pick and choose what's recorded pretty effectively with this module. Great. Well, let's take a look at it. Sure. Well, I'm in Wowza Streaming Engine right now. And the first thing I'm going to do is create an application. So I go over to the Applications window, hit app, Add Application. It looks like it defaulted there, which is great. And I'm just going to choose a live app. I'm going to call it Live Record All. So I'll go ahead and add that. Um, typically, I turn off smooth streaming and HDS because these are more legacy protocols. And then you'll see here there's an option to record all incoming streams. Now, that I'm going to leave that off. Um, this is if you want to blanket record everything, which we're not necessarily going to do with this module today. So we're going to override that with a different module for recording. And then I'm actually going to modify the directory here. I think I have a directory called recordings, plural inside the content folder, which just makes it a little bit cleaner for interacting with you all today in this demo. Right, so I'll but save you could that. have just used the application specific directory, right, for the uh, live record all. Absolutely, but on this particular server, my content folder is cluttered. And <laughs> okay. if we do end up going into the recordings folder, which I intend to, I want it to be nice and clean right. for everybody. Does nice that work? to be able to specify. Right. So I've got um, live record all for this particular demo. I'm going to turn off the source security um, and restart the app. And I could jump over here to my Wowza Clearcaster. This is a whole other technology, um, but very simply, I'm going to turn on a 1080p stream. So we should have a stream coming into this application. And there we go. Do so. My stream is sitting there ready to go. Now, to enhance this demo a little bit more, I'm going to turn on the transcoder. Um, the fallback template is transrate. Um, so if I look at the transrate template right here, it's going to take in the source. It's also going to generate 720 and 360p. So I'll have a little bit of an ABR ladder going. And in order to do that, I'll restart the application to apply those settings. So in a moment here in incoming streams, we should see, and we do, there's the source stream. So that's coming in over WOW's protocol. That's the address of my encoder. The 101153. 10, and then the transcoder is creating a 720, 360, and it's passing through the source. So as it relates to the um, the module that we're going to be installing here in a moment, we have the ability to, to choose which streams are recorded. So we might want to record just this stream, which is the source, or we might want to record this block of streams. Or if I send in a third stream called Tim's Awesome Stream, I could note that as a specific stream to record or not record. So what we're doing here is we're, we're directing traffic, so to speak, on which stream is recorded and not recorded. So that's it. We're, we've got our application pretty much set and ready to go. Um, any questions so far, Justin? No, that all sounds great. OK, well, let's uh, take a look at our article. Um, this article does a better job describing it than I do. So you've got a little bit of uh, an introduction, um, but you can see in the headline, start recording streams automatically with a Java streaming engine, Java module. The The headline doesn't necessarily describe it as well as the, um, the, the, the summary here, but I think we've got a pretty good idea of what we're dealing with. So the first thing I need to do is get this plugin onto my server. So I'm gonna copy the link address 
and I'm going to go over to my terminal window. And I'm, I'm just kind of in a working folder here. So I'm going to do WGET and that'll download the module. So I see it sitting there. Now I'm going to unzip it. And I'm going to unzip it just to that same folder. And that should unzip it. So now you can see that I've got the zip file I just downloaded. And then this is a new folder. So I'll go ahead and go in there. And that now we're looking at what we just downloaded. I'm, I'm going for the LIB folder. And that's the jar file that I really want. So I'm going to move that jar file to Wowza Streaming Engine's lib folder. I believe that's in the instructions here. It says extract the contents and then um, move it to your install directory lib folder. So we'll do that really quick here. So that just copied it to my Wowza install folder. That's the standard path in Linux. So let's go ahead and go over there. And then I'm gonna make sure it's there and I can see it in red. So I'm, I'm gonna change the, um, the uh, permissions on that just so they, <laughs> that, that, that it's the same with the other ones. So I'm gonna do chmod. I don't think this is in the uh, um, article we're using. So the auto record should be in there. Now it doesn't jump out at us, but I know that it's in here. So um, there it is right here. And now it's green, just like all the other ones. So I feel good about life. So at this point, um, I've got the, um, I've, I've got it downloaded and I've got it moved over to the lib folder. It says to restart. I'll restart later because now we have to start putting in the property. So the first thing we do is we need to grab module auto record and we need to set that in Wowza engine. So we go into engine. When you, when you drop into an application, it typically looks like this. And then there's these tabs up here. So I'm going to go to the module and I'm going to add the module and I'm just going to copy paste what's in this, what's in this configuration. Um, and this will only take a couple seconds. Grab the class name. There we go. So hit add and then save. So that's added the module. So now this application is going to recognize that lib file that I just dropped into that directory. Now I'm gonna go over here to properties and this is where things get a little more interesting. Um, and I have to scroll a little bit because of the way my stream's set up, but these are where we start to decide how we're going to use the module. So um, by default, start a recorder for every stream that's published to the application instance. So you can effectively leave it by default and it'll be just as if you selected record all incoming streams. But of course we wanna do more than that. So the default is true. So I think I wanna set this to false. So I'm gonna go ahead and interact with this a little bit. It's the path is root application stream recorder. So I'm gonna grab this name here so if you don't want to record all streams, this is a property you have to add in. Yes, definitely. So I'm going to add, it says root application stream recorder. And this is a little different than um, most of the properties. Most of them just are in root application. So it's good when you're setting up a Wowza module to be really mindful of the path. So we got root stream recorder. The name is stream recorder. Stream recorder, record all streams, Boolean, and I'm going to actually turn the value to false. And so it's Boolean, and then it'll be false. Sometimes I, I'm really particular. Um, it needs to be lowercase. So I added that, and let's see what other properties we need here. Um, debug logging, that's somewhat self-explanatory. If you're having problems, you could turn that on. I'm going to leave it. It defaults to off, so we'll leave that one alone. Um, and then type of streams to record or how to interpret the, the stream recorder names list. So this is where things get interesting. This property here, stream recorder type, it'll record all streams, source stream, or transcoder streams, or it will allow or deny what comes up in a list. So you can actually list a particular stream and it will record it. We're not going to get into that much detail, but what I do want to do, I think, is record all of the transcoder streams. So I'm going to add this property, and if it goes as planned, 
when I restart the application, it should only record the transcoder streams. Um, so let me go ahead and set that property. So it's in the stream recorder. So these are all going to be in the same path. Stream recorder type, we'll grab that. Stream recorder, there's the name. Stream recorder type, I believe it was... Transcoder. Um, transcoder, thank you. Good, so we'll put transcoder in there. Oh, I'll just type it. Oh, sometimes when I'm in engine, I've noticed that if you click outside the configuration box, um, the, the window goes away and that just got me. So I'm gonna have to do this over really quick. Common issue with the UI. So there's the string and it's transcoder. So yeah, definitely don't click outside this box if you're configuring in Wowza Streaming Engine Manager. So there it is. I've got the, it's gonna record transcoder. Let's see if there are any other properties in here that I need. Um, these are the stream recorder names. So if I were to say, record a stream called Tim's Awesome Stream or not record Tim's Awesome Stream or Tim's Other Awesome Stream, you know, I could build a little list and they're separated by a pipe. I have the ability to control whether it's a pipe or whether it's some other type of symbol by using this property, but we're going too far into too much detail. I just want to see if this thing works and if it will only record the transcoder stream. So I believe I have it set up property properly. I'm going to save it. And now I'm definitely going to restart the application. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and stop my Clearcaster. So there shouldn't be a uh, stream coming in and I'm going to restart. This only takes a couple of seconds. And by the way, you can configure all of this using XML. So if you choose to not use Wowza Streaming Engine Manager, these properties are all configurable in application.xml. It may be um, called out here in this tutorial, but um, if you prefer to um, interact with Wowza at that level, you can. So right now, live record all incoming streams. I don't have anything. Um, over here in um, my server, I'm going to switch to my nice in fact i'll even clear the screen notice that there's nothing in this folder so we're going to go ahead and start the encoder here so this one is going to there we go and it's provisioning the stream so we'll just for fun turn on the monitoring we should see it go green that means i'm connected to waza engine and then i should see some incoming streams i do now bear in mind there is not a um recording confirmation when you're doing all streams so this interacts with a different part of waza streaming engine live stream record but it should be recording source 720 and 360 so to just get a kind it of a clue uh, on it wouldn't record this the source as well at the bottom uh, it, it should record the source, okay. actually. Yes, because it's an output of the transcoder. We'll know for sure here in a second. So I'm going to... I don't see any temp files, which is kind of interesting. So I don't know if it's actually working or not. Let's uh, go ahead and stop the encoder. One thing I was curious about, uh, I know you had to restart the application. Did you have to restart mm -hmm. the server? That may be an issue. It didn't say to do that necessarily in the doc, but let's do that as a preventative measure. Go ahead I and just do restart always it. worry about that when it, be, when it comes mm -hmm. to modules. No, I think that's a very good suggestion. Um, and I have done that through just kind of troubleshooting um, here and there. So we did a full server restart. Thank you for the suggestion. Let's see how that affects us here, Justin. I'm going to go ahead and restart the stream. So we should see the stream coming in. Ah, now we do see the record my option here. So I was wrong earlier when I was assuming that Wowza Streaming Engine did not um, initiate the record. In fact, it certainly does. And so we can see that it's recording here. If we go over to the actual file, we've got the source 720 and my stream being recorded and then when we stop the recording these temp files will turn into just these three mp4s so i'll go ahead and stop the encoder so in the future you can have the option of creating a list 
and that list will define say what uh, the name of the stream is coming in or say keywords to find within the stream to know whether to record that's right um, and and we can by the way you saw that you know there's the completed mp4 files yeah it's really kind of cool down here we were looking at it earlier um, you've got record all streams record just the source stream so it would do the opposite of what we just did allow which means record the names that are on the list so down here this other property stream recorder names you can create something like this my stream pipe my other stream so when this says allow it's going to only record the streams that match those two stream names or deny um, which would not record that it would be extremely useful for live stream record and they can also, as, I'm sorry, I'm just reading no, it down here. Uh, you can also have a wild card. So if I wanted to, I could say record only the uh, 360p streams. Yeah. Yeah. So if I had, um, you know, my stream Tim, my stream Justin, my stream Bob, my stream Sally, you could put a wild card on the end of that. So it would, it would effectively, um, you know, record anything that started with my stream. And one last question that I did have about this, if we could go back into Wazza Streaming Engine, okay. I was wondering um, all of this, because this is still visible and manageable through, well, it's gone now, <laughs> um, manageable through uh, Wazza Streaming Engine's manager. Um, mm -hmm. We still have the standard options of, say, segmenting this or shutting it down through the API or through our interface here, correct? I believe we do have the ability to split it. So let's take the 720p and let's split it. And then let's briefly just take a look at the file list. So. Yep, there we go, we have, 720. Yeah, 720p underscore one. So 720p. And zero is right over there. Zero is over here, yeah. So you do retain some of that functionality inside Wowza Engine. So I encourage people, I strongly encourage people, if you have a recording need, if you don't want to be constantly writing API calls, if you don't need to do that, um, consider using the, um, you know, the real basic, but I think somewhat controllable nature of, of the auto record module. It gives you a little more than just, you know, clicking clicking this box here when you create the app. Yeah. So no, yeah, definitely that's much for it. people who have many streams coming in, it's it's a nice little extra because if sure. you're dealing with many encoders running through one application, uh, mm -hmm. this will give you the ability to say, uh, I only I only want to say archive certain information. Well, thank you very much, Tim, and for everyone else, happy streaming.